their competitors are Heineken, Carlsberg, and the one your uncle loves the most. Guinness. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's in it. yeah. Uncles love that ish. Yeah, Guinness Punch and that. You know, yeah. the Jamaicans yeah. they love it. <laughs> yeah. So those are the competitors. Welcome to another episode of Stock List, the show where we take you through the various stocks on our watch list and advise you on whether you should look into them as well. Quick disclaimer. Yep, so we're not financial analysts, neither are we financial advisors. Take everything we say with a pinch of salt, Maggie Paprika. And anything else in the kitchen, mate. That's it. Everything we say is for entertainment purposes only. So make sure you're entertained. Mm -hmm. Um, What stock are we going through today? Anheuser Busch and Bev. That's it. (laughs) Bro, it sounds funnier every other time you say it. <laughs> it doesn't get easier. Uh, so break it down. Tell us a bit about them. Yeah, so they're a Belgian multinational drink and brewing company. Mm-hmm. Um, like I said, they're based in Belgium. Okay. They're known for brands such as Stella Artois, Budweiser, and Corona. Okay, cool. Not not, not the virus. Not the, <laughs> not the, the virus, drink. the actual the drink. One yeah. The okay, cool. Yeah. Thank you for that. Yeah. Um, so can you give us some information about their position in the stock market? Yeah, so they're currently listed on numerous markets mm-hmm, i'm sure the main one that we should be concerned about mm. is the new york stock exchange okay um they're listed under the ticker bud okay. but and their current price as of the time of recording is 64 dollars and 33 cents interesting so time recording is 17th of february that's it do you want to give them 52 week range right so the 52 week range which is the highest price the stock was and the lowest price the stock was is 32 dollars and 54 cents and the highest is 73 dollars and 78 cents their competitors are heineken carlsberg and the one your uncle loves the most (laughs) (laughs) uncles love that ish yeah guinness punch and that you know the jamaicans they love it (laughs) yeah so those are the competitors so I'll take you through the CEO and the management team. The CEO's name is Mr. Carlos Brito, and I believe he is a Brazilian. That's it. That's it. Lovely. Um, he worked at Daimler, a very influential man there. Mm-hmm. And now he's at Bud or um, Anheuser, Anheuser-Busch in Bev. He became the CEO in 2004, and he has overseen many mergers and acquisitions for the business. Honestly, when I tell you there have been a lot of mergers hmm. <laughs> for this business. <laughs> so many. So many. So anyway, right, it, we'll crack on. That's why they're the world's largest brewing company at the moment. Because yeah, they've just been adding, 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 adding to their adding, portfolio. Adding, yeah, they just add companies. Yeah. Right. So um, they're quite strong financially. Mm-hmm. Um, in 2019, they brought in $54 billion into the business. And um, that's compared to... Um, 2020, it went down a bit. It went down to 47.44. I guess it's expected that the money's going to go down because of coronavirus. Um, bars being closed. Um, restaurants. Restaurants closed. Festivals, concerts. Lock lot. off, everything. Yeah. Lock off. Do you understand? So it makes sense that the revenue's gone down. Um, the profitability has also gone down significantly. So it was 31.96 um, billion in 2019. Was it, 2019. And they went all the way down to a minus 860 million in Q1 to Q3 2020. That's a massive jump. And obviously we know why. Yeah. Again, Corona. coronavirus. Yeah. yeah. Um, Ain't no wireless festival. Ain't no... no um, uh, the, what, what's the festivals in... Um, uh, oh, what are they called? Oh, um, there's, um, Rolling Stone yeah, Festival. Yeah. There's, a whole, there's a whole beer festival, yeah, bro. Yeah. Like uh, a whole beer festival yeah. in them sides. Like Belgium, Germany, <laughs> Belgium, all yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. They love their beer yeah. and the fact that they can't drink it. Yeah. It's going to affect these, this, these, these guys um, a lot. Their market cap is, is still strong at $127 billion. Mm-hmm. That's massive. So, yeah, uh, very strong company. Um, yeah. Should we go into some pros and cons? Yeah, so pros, I would say, is that this company at the moment, they're focusing on reducing their debt. Mm-hmm. Not many companies have that as a strategy at yeah. all. So yeah. the fact that they're doing this, obviously... It means that they must have sacrificed something. Yeah. So did they have a strategy? Like they, focus on their debt. Do, yeah. They're focusing on their debt. So what they sacrificed is dividend payments. Mm. So their dividend payments before, I believe it was about fifty seven cents um annually. That's okay. what they were paying. Right. Yeah, if I'm correct. Yeah. And per uh, share. Yeah, per yeah. share. Yeah, okay, that's a lot. 
and they've decided to cut back on that for now. Yeah. As of 2020, they decided to cut back on that and focus on reducing their debt. Fair enough. Yeah. The second um, pro, yeah, I would say is the fact that if um, the vaccine is rolled out successfully, mm-hmm. sporting events, c- concerts, festivals, the lot. Yeah, the streets is the, open. The streets is open again. Yeah. And, and when the streets open, open, people drink. And they drink a lot of beer. They, they yeah. drink a lot of beer. Yeah, yeah, Obviously, yeah. beer is cheap, isn't it? Yeah. Not everyone's going around here holding... <laughs> bottles of Moe. <laughs> down bottle, the yeah, nah, yeah. nah, nah. It you, don't you, work like that. You're yeah. more likely to see them with like a pint of lager walking exactly. down the road. Exactly, especially at sense. football events, rugby events, mm. NFL. They love uh, it. Uh, they love everything. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, so the third pro for me, I would say, is that they have very good brands under their umbrella. So, as I said before, they carry brands such as Budweiser, you definitely know that brand, and Stella Toi, your uncle definitely knows that brand. Mm. You've seen it on the TV, they've got sick adverts. And obviously, the third one, which is uh, Corona, which, coronavirus, do you know what I'm saying? Childish people. Yeah. All right, cool. <laughs> so, so, so they, we'll come point, to that, we'll come to my that. My whole point is that they have good brands under, the, under, the, uh, under their management. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, so that, that's a third pro. And then the final pro as to why you will want to look into this the the, the stock is um, during the coronavirus pandemic they were able to focus on delivering um, their home products. So so they even delivered a product for people who want to create draft beer. You know the draft beer, the one you pull down. You now have that in your home. Like they have a whole draft beer pull off for your house. Mm, it's, you know it's, a it's a madness. It's a madness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. So so they've been able to to capitalize even in the coronavirus mm. pandemic. So big ratings to them. Um so we're gonna now look into some cons as to why you may not want to look into the stock. The first one being debt. So they are heavily in debt <laughs> right now and uh, as you saw from the financials their profitability is going down they're heading further into debt. Um, of course, they're doing things to manage that debt, but that is a big issue. Mm-hmm. That's the first. That's the first con. Um, the second con. The second one is childish. Yeah, it's childish. Yeah. Very, 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 very childish. Big, childish. Very, very childish. big childishness yeah. going on. Um, so the name Corona or the the Corona drink brand was associated with the coronavirus, and it really tanked their sales. Hmm. Like people, I remember seeing. You go to shops here yeah, and yeah. you'll see tissue out. There's no tissue. Yeah. Beer out. Yeah. You see everything is out of stock, Apart minus the, the corona. corona. Literally. So people were actively not trying to buy corona beer because they thought that's the, where it's the, coming from. <laughs> the stigma <laughs> with coronavirus. The COVID. Bro. The COVID. <laughs> the COVID. <laughs> the COVID. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. So it's, it's, it's interesting, man. People yeah. So like, obviously that, that hit their, um, their sales a lot. It sells a lot. Mm. That's why their profits mm-hmm. are, are like this. Well, one of the reasons why their profits are like this. Precisely. Yeah. So yeah, what's con number three, man? Yeah, I'll say they, <laughs> they're always going through some sort of scandal dispute with companies. Mm. Currently at the moment, they... Uh, they license out the name Corona mm. to a firm in the US okay. who use it obviously for beer mm-hmm. uh, so that they can uh, obviously sell their uh, Corona beer in America. That brand at the moment, or well, that firm I should say at the moment, they've decided to use that Corona name because it's such a strong name, mm. use it on other products, Look which they that. don't have the license for. So um, Anheuser-Busch at the moment are suing that company saying, you Na- Nathan, we, all, we only <laughs> told you to use the Corona name for yeah, the beer, for the not, beer for, not for not for anything, anything else. else. So they tried to use it for what water, water, and, and yeah, other, to, other stuff as well. Like that, the too. problem is, anytime you go to court, yeah, mm. you don't know wh- what the judge is gonna say. Yeah. So during that whole period, yeah. you're losing money mm. up until the bit where the judge says it's, it's going in your f- yeah, yeah. final verdict is yeah. either going in your favor or not. Yeah. Mm, so true. if it doesn't go in their favor and they lose, that's a then big L. And they're already in debt. <sighs> That's long. I pray for them. Hope they win. They need prayers. Yeah, hope they, they need prayers. But they got a strong CEO mm-hmm. who, if he stays at the moment, I know they're trying to push him out of the door because yeah. he's been there for so long. Look at that Mugabe and that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But if he manages to stay there for a while, mm. obviously he he's someone who can. He, he can handle them like he, he can, yeah he can, he can drive them back up to the position where they were yeah, before yeah, I get yeah. It. yeah he, he's handled acquisitions yeah, he's handled, handled mergers yeah Who, what is they're a still dispute a float and they're strong in the market what is a in his eyes a small dispute to them <laughs> <laughs> to him so they're gonna take them out <laughs> yeah all right give us the final the final con 
they got strong competition. Mm. Every time you go to your uncle's house, you see him with a Guinness belly. <laughs> <laughs> Right. It's that's, true. That's the reason people say beer belly. It's coming yeah, from the Guinness. Yeah, it's coming from the Guinness. It's true. Definitely the, Carl, the Carlsberg. The they shouldn't be relying on on beer sales. On a beer sales coming from people that go to sporting events mm. and stuff like that, that alone. Their marketing is not for me. It's not diverse it, enough. It's not diverse enough, mm. especially in the European market. No, I definitely hear that. Yeah, definitely because that. now that they're losing profits, like my man should see that. Okay. There's more to the world than just America. Mm. Other people in the world drink beer. Mm, that's true. Yeah, that's you go true. to you go to Africa. Africa is a big market. Mm. A man's not going to tell you he's drinking Budweiser in Africa. No, nah, man, drink Guinness. In, you, you drink yeah, Guinness. That's true. That's true. Now we're going to go through the growth strategy. So take us through the growth strategy. Yeah. So just clearing down there. Yeah, yeah. I guess once you have less liabilities on your books, you can actually push forward. So yeah. it does make sense yeah. to for them to clear down the debt yeah. and the growth strategy. Do you know what? Yeah. Mm. I just had a thought. So, mm. uh, Mr. Brito, or mm-hmm. Brito, <laughs> Brito, he, That's, okay, sorry. he probably knew it. <laughs> <laughs> no, go on, go on, go on. Go on. <laughs> Ignore that. <laughs> just continue. I almost call it burrito by mistake. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. <laughs> anyway, he um, probably knew from last year that they wanted to kick him out of the door. Mm. So, he probably said, you know what, let me leave with a bang by making sure these men remember me as the guy who reduced the debt, as the yeah. guy who also... Make an impact, yeah. He, yeah, who made an impact. He's already done the acquisition thing. Mm. He's already helped uh, make them sustain or help the brand sustain this yeah. whole pandemic period. Yep, yep, yep. So his final thing on the, on his to-do list could be clear down debt. Which is, which is yeah. a good thing to do as well. Yeah, yeah therefore. Yeah, yeah, it makes sense. Oh, okay. Don't so, worry, guys. I didn't have a word with Mr. Brito. <laughs> <laughs> You're but backing yeah. him heavily. <laughs> so, what is your rating for the stock? I would say, yeah. <laughs> Hit us. Hmm. What I initially had on paper is different from what I'm going to say. Mm-hmm. I'll say 3.8. Okay, well, <laughs> it's not that different. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <go on. laughs> yeah, I'll say between 3.7 to 3.8. All right, yeah. cool. Um, my reasons for 3.7, 3.8. Once the pandemic goes over, people are going to drink. To be fair, people are drinking now. Mm. And beer is cheaper than drinking... Um, Moe. Yeah. yeah it's spirits, it's wines, yeah, and all yeah, that yeah, kind of yeah, stuff, yeah, innit? Yeah, yeah. So, in terms of the brands that are out there at the moment, Anheuser, they've got good brands that you can easily go to your local. Mm. If you're on... Uh, the UK Sainsbury's Tesco, if you're in America, Walmart, Target, all them shops or whatnot, yeah. You can pick something up. Yeah, you can pick something pick mm. something up. Mm-hmm. Um Yeah, their their products are just about everywhere. Yeah. No, I get you. Yeah, they're just about I get you. So there, there's there's a lot of visibility yeah. on the brands that yeah. they that, that they manage. And also as well, it sounds childish here, but once the corona is done, yeah, one day it'll be done. God willing, it'll be yeah. done. It'll be done. Yeah. <laughs> you have to pray to God real quick. Yeah. Yeah. Once the COVID, once the COVID over. thing is done, the CV thing is yeah. done. Yeah, um, people hopefully mm. because I know some people are still childish about it. Mm. They'll hopefully not associate the Corona drink with the brand and um, with the with the virus. With the, with the virus, yeah. So they will actually start drinking this beer. Yeah, yeah. No, I get that, but I would have thought they would have spun it to make people. Like they could have used the whole virus. Yeah. They could have used the whole virus as a marketing term, like a marketing strategy for people to go and buy more Corona drink. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? Like people they, are they, scared of Corona. They, 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 they could have dropped adverts saying, uh, "This is the Corona you want. This is the Corona you don't want." Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> then, like, something like that. Do you know what I mean? And like, they could have done anything yeah, with it. Yeah. But it's like they slept on the job, fam. Like I need to speak to someone in the market. You got his number, Brito's number. Yeah, yeah. I pull him up. Still chatting <laughs> in Spanish and that. What is it, Brazilian? Brazilian. Uh, chatting Portuguese. I got the man them there still. Um, I hear that. Yeah, so that, that's what I think. So for me, um, are you done? Or? Yeah, yeah. So my rating, I'm gonna keep at man four. Said, yeah, done or yeah, finished. Are you finished? Are you done? <laughs> uh, so uh, for me, I'm gonna give them a four, mm-hmm. which is very high because um, I believe that. Um, the corona the, the coronavirus pandemic is gonna is gonna get done by the vaccine at some point things are gonna open back up it's only it's, it's only a matter of time because mm. um the, the economies can't sustain um all this all this downturn mm. all this lockdown 
economy can't sustain it. Mm. So governments want to open up stuff. Yeah. As soon as things get opened up, yeah, to the point where people can start going to bars and stuff, um, people are going to overcompensate for mm. the lockdown. Mm. So people are going to be drinking a lot. You're going to yeah. see high levels of partying. You're going to see mad concerts everywhere. Yeah. People have accumulated money that they couldn't spend um, on 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 uh, bars, pubs, and uh, and uh, all mm-hmm. these things, and they're going to spend it all in one go. Mm-hmm. Do you get it? So the market is going to the, the this segment, this market segment is going to grow highly in mm-hmm. one go. Do you get it? Share the video with at least one person who you think it will benefit, and make sure you like and definitely subscribe if you haven't already. And we will see you in the next one. Oh,